Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm making Instant Pot cheese and spinach lasagna. I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com and I love sharing with you my Instant Pot recipes. I was really nervous starting out using my Instant Pot, but after a few months, I got going and now I absolutely love it. So be sure to check out all my other Instant Pot posts right there. Now, if you wanna see more Instant Pot posts, be sure to give me a comment, a big thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Every Monday, I'm sharing a new Instant Pot recipe. Now, this Instant Pot lasagna is one of the most easy lasagnas you'll ever make. I made it so there's no meat in it, so it literally takes about 10 minutes to throw together. It cooks for a little bit and then you are done. Now for this recipe, I'm using a springform pan, the same kind that you use for a cheesecake. Now this one is six inches by three inches. You can fit this actually in the three quart, the six quart, or the eight quart. You can go a little bit larger and go seven inches by three inches if you have a six quart or an eight quart. But today, I'm just using the six inch one. So if you wanna know where to find these, I'm just gonna put a link for you in the description. All right guys, let's go make some Instant Pot lasagna. All right, we're just gonna start with our springform pan. Like I said before, this is the three inch by the six inch. So you can get it a little bit bigger, the seven inch, but I'm using the six inch today. All right, we're gonna start with one egg. Then I'm gonna add one cup of ricotta cheese. Then when you're done adding the ricotta, you're gonna add your spices. So I have a half teaspoon of each one of these. We have salt, pepper, oregano, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning. Then you're just gonna dump those all in. Next, we're gonna add one cup of mozzarella cheese. Then you're gonna mix everything until it's well combined. All right, when it's all mixed together, you're gonna set that aside and pull out your springform pan. Now I am using oven-ready lasagna noodles, so I don't have to boil them, it makes it a lot easier. So I'm gonna kinda measure and then break them so they'll fit right into my pan. Now, the noodles do not have to be pretty. What you're trying to do is just cover up the bottom of the springform pan the best you can. So if you notice, I am using little pieces, and it's okay because it will cook together. All right, so I'm just adding a few more noodles on, and now I am ready to put half of my cheesy ricotta mixture in there. Then you're just gonna spread it around the best you can. Now I'm just gonna take a handful of spinach leaves and just kinda tear them up and put them right on top of the cheese. Again, it's lasagna, so it doesn't have to be pretty. Next, I have a 24 ounce jar of just traditional spaghetti sauce. You can use whatever sauce you like in your lasagna. Then just spread the sauce around right over the spinach. Now you're just gonna repeat your layers. So you're gonna add your noodles again. And like I said before, they don't have to be perfect because they will all cook together. Next, you're gonna add the rest of the cheese mixture right on top of the noodles. Then just spread it all around. Now we're ready for the spinach again. So I just grabbed another little handful and I'm just ripping it up into pieces so it will lay as flat as I can get it. And again, you're gonna add a half of a cup of your spaghetti sauce or whatever sauce you love on top of your spinach leaves and just spread it around again. <laughs> now this is the last layer of noodles. So again, I'm gonna try and measure them so they'll fit perfectly into my little pan. Again, you're gonna add another half cup or so of your sauce, spread it around, and now for my most favorite part, the cheese. So I added about a half a cup to a cup. I like a lot of cheese, so I added about a cup. Now once you're done with that, you're gonna take a piece of foil and put it right on top of your springform pan. Now my Instant Pot came with a steam rack, and so that's what I'm gonna use today to cook my lasagna. I know there are a lot of other things you can use for your Instant Pot, but this came with mine, so we're just gonna make it easy. 
All right, so now I'm just adding one cup of water because you need water for it to pressurize. Then I'm gonna put my pan right on top. Then you're gonna put your lid on, close it, and make sure that your thing is turned to ceiling, not venting, you wanna on ceiling. Then on your Instant Pot, you're gonna push manual and go up to 24 minutes. Then when it's done, you're gonna let it release on its own, so you're not gonna put it on venting for 15 minutes. So now I'm preheating my oven to 450 degrees. Take the foil off of your lasagna, put it in, and watch it for about two to three minutes until it's nice and golden brown on top. Then you can pull it out. I would let it sit for a few minutes before eating it so it will stay together a little bit better. All right, you guys, that is it for my Instant Pot Monday. I hope you have a great day. Also, don't forget to comment below. I would love to hear what kind of Instant Pot recipes you want me to make. All right, guys, hope you have a great day. See you later.